What happened to the Republican Party? It's supposed to be the party supposedly of fiscal conservatism. Suddenly, deficits do not matter. Even though just two years ago, when the deficit was lower, they said, I couldn't afford to help working families or seniors on Medicare because the deficit was an existential crisis. What changed? What, what changed? They're subsidizing corporate polluters with taxpayer dollars, allowing dishonest lenders to take advantage of veterans and students and consumers again. They've made it so that the only nation on earth to pull out of the global climate agreement, it's not North Korea, it's not Syria, it's not Russia or Saudi Arabia, it's us, the only country. There are a lot of countries in the world. We're the only ones. They're undermining our alliances, closing up to Russia. What happened to the Republican Party? Its central organizing principle in foreign policy was the fight against communism, and now they're cozying up to the former head of the KGB, actively blocking legislation that would defend our elections from Russian attack. What happened? The sabotage of the Affordable Care Act has already cost more than 3 million Americans their health insurance. And if they're still in power next fall, you better believe they're coming at it again. They've said so. And by the way, the, the claim that everything will turn out okay because there are people inside the White House who secretly aren't following the President's orders, <laughs> that is not a check. I'm being serious here. That's not how our democracy is supposed to work. These people aren't elected. They're not accountable. They're not doing us a service by actively promoting 90% of the crazy stuff that's coming out of this White House and then saying, don't worry, we're preventing the other 10%. That's not how things are supposed to work. This is not normal. So these are extraordinary times. And they're dangerous times. But here's the good news. In two months, we had the chance, not the certainty, but the chance, to restore some semblance of sanity to our politics.